Step 3. DWG External References, XREF. In this step, we'll receive the first and then a second updated version of the structural construction documentation from the structural engineer. There are some changes that we implemented into our design earlier, during the collaboration, but now we need to precisely synchronize the structural drawings with the project. One of the best ways to do this is to attach the received DWG files as external reference files, or XREFs, and then use the virtual trace function to compare the floor plan pairs. We will attach external drawings and learn how to manage XREFs. Let's see the structural drawing of the second floor in its original environment created by the structural engineer. Open the S3 second floor version 1 DWG file in AutoCAD. If you don't have AutoCAD, follow along with the steps in the movie player. We will use this file for an external reference and attach it to our project. Open the XREF Manager in AutoCAD. As you can see, there is an attached XREF in the file. The structural engineer uses the same grid.dwg as a sub XREF to every floor plan. Close the XREF Manager and make sure to close the DWG file as well before the next steps. Switch back to the col8.pln ARCHICAD project. Activate the 8.3.1 XREF preset view in the view map of the navigator located in the Chapter 8 folder. The saved view activates the structural part of the architectural design with the needed settings for comparison. Let's create a worksheet now for the first XREF. Activate the document, Documenting Tools, Create Independent Worksheet menu command. Enter S-03 for reference ID and second floor for name on the new independent worksheet dialog and press the create button. Switch to the project map in the navigator and open the worksheets container. You can see the previously created S3 worksheet here. We will now attach the structural drawing of the second floor to this worksheet. Activate the file, external content, attach XREF menu command. Press the browse button in the attach XREF dialog and select col 831 s 3 floor v onedwg from the Chapter 8 folder and then press open. If ARCHICAD, if ARCHICAD asks, asks for an AutoCAD, for an AutoCAD SHX, SHX file, Please, please click, click skip, all, skip all, to all to proceed if you do if not, you do have, not any have any on your, on your local computer. computer. In the, the attached attach XREF, XREF dialog, dialog select, select attachment for reference, for reference type. Uncheck, uncheck the, the specify on screen radio, radio button, button in the insertion point field. Select the drawing select zone, the drawing origin, zone option origin option, for anchor, option for anchor point. Then select the 02 and then select for the 02 import for editable translator. import translator from the list and press the Attach press the button settings to button proceed. to open the DXF DWG Translation Setup dialog. Make sure that the 02 for Editable Import Translator is selected at the top of the page. Open the Settings and Selected Translator panel. Click to open the Open Options page. Make sure that the Enable Partial Open option is unchecked at the bottom of this dialog. If checked, uncheck it. The Enable Partial Open checkbox is available not only for the opened or merged DWG and DXF files, but also for the XREF files. We will not be using this feature in this step, so it's better to leave it unchecked. Finally, click the Save Settings and Close button to leave the dialog. 
Click the Attach button to proceed. The DWG file has been imported to ARCHICAD and placed on the worksheet. The structural engineer uses the same origin in AutoCAD, so the contents of the DWG will be placed back to their original position. Zoom out to see the entire drawing on the worksheet. Let's create another new independent worksheet in the same way as before, using the document, Documenting Tools, Create Independent Worksheet menu command. Enter S-04 for ID and third floor for name. The S04 worksheet appears in the Project Maps Worksheets container. XREFs can be managed in the XREF Manager. Open it using the File, External Content, XREF Manager menu command. In the list, you'll see the previously attached DWG with various properties like Status, Size, Type, Date of the DWG file, and Instance. There are two icons in the upper left corner of the dialog. You can use these to switch between the list view and tree view of the XREFs used in the current project. Select the tree view. You can see the attached DWG file has the grid.dwg nested XREF. ARCHICAD kept the same XREF system as created in AutoCAD. You must store these nested XREFs in the same folder as the DWG file in order for ARCHICAD to find them. On the right side of the dialog you can see more buttons. To enable all of them, you have to select an XREF file from the list. With Attach, you can choose a new XREF. Detach removes the selected XREF from the project. You can hide and unhide XREFs with the Unload and Reload buttons. Using the Bind command, the content of the XREF will be merged to the project. If you want to change the attached DWG or just show a new path, click the Browse button. If you click the Show Log button, you will see what actions you have performed on XREFs in this session of the XREF Manager. This can be useful since these actions are performed when you click the OK button, so you might want to review them before proceeding. Finally, clicking on the Translator Settings button will take you to the DWG DXF Translation Setup dialog, where you can review and change settings which will be used when translating your XREF into ARCHICAD elements. Let's import the structural drawing of the third floor as well. This time, use the XREF Manager for this. Press the Attach button, click Browse, choose COL832S4 third floor v1.dwg. and press the Attach button with the same settings as before to place the DWG file to the previously created worksheet. Let's have a look at the structure of the layers after attaching the XREF DWG files. Open the Document, Layers, Layer Settings dialog. Scroll down to the end of the layer list. You can see the XREF layers are stored separately, and their name starts with the first characters of the original file name. You can hide these layers if you press the Layer Filter button in the upper right corner of the dialog, and choose the Hide XREF Layers option. This will hide XREF layers only from the layer setting. As you can see, 
All XREF layers are locked after importing. If you want to drag, move, rotate, or mirror them, you have to unlock the layers and switch off suspend groups. Press Cancel to leave the Layer Settings dialog. In the next few steps, we will match the structural floor plan XREFs with the corresponding architectural views. The Trace and Reference function will help in this task. Switch to the third floor view in the project map. And right click on the S4 third floor worksheet and select Show as Trace Reference from the context menu. This shows the referenced worksheet contents as an underlay below the third floor view. Open the Window, Palettes, Trace and Reference palette. We can easily compare the architectural floor plans with the structural drawings using the smart function of the virtual tracing feature. Switch on the splitter on the dialog. Four handles appear on four sides of the plan view. With the help of these handles, you can peel back the active view just as if it was on tracing paper. In this way, it's very easy to find differences between the live project view and the referenced structural drawing. Let's suppose we've finished the update according to the V1 structural drawings and modified our design. We now receive the V2 modified structural set from the structural engineer. We will now update the XREFs, changing the DWGs under our floor plans. Open the file, External Content, XREF Manager, and select COL831S3 Second Floor V1.DWG from the list. Press the Browse button and choose COL833S3 Second Floor V2.DWG from the Chapter 8 folder. Then press Open. Click the Show Log button in the lower left corner of the dialog. The list above the Show Log button now shows the operations that will be carried out when you click the OK button. Repeat this with the third floor's DWG as well. Change it to the version 2 file. Then press OK to leave the dialog. The XREFs on the worksheets have been replaced with the second version of the drawings. The same result can be achieved if the original XREFs are overwritten with the new ones. In this case, ARCHICAD updates the referenced files automatically. Let's see some practical operations with XREFs. Go back to the XREF Manager again. Select the second floor DWG and click the Detach button. The XREF Detach Warning dialog appears. When an XREF is inserted into our project, many layers and line types, so-called attributes, will be generated from the external file. We can now remove these attributes by pressing the Remove XREFs Attributes button. If you select the Keep XREFs Attributes, the content of the XREF will be removed from the worksheet, but all imported attributes will be kept in the ARCHICAD file. Press the Remove XREFs Attributes button on the XREF Detach. Select the third floor DWG and click the Detach button. Press the Remove XREFs Attributes button on the XREF Detach, and then click OK to execute these XREF modifications. Also, turn off the display of the trace reference in its palette. 